Good morning everyone, this is Charity, um, aka Scrap Fair, and I'm doing a Sparklers design team project for the Spiegel Mom Scrap Shop Etsy shop. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, and I'm Scrap Fair on Instagram, then you watch me cover this wreath that's been hanging on my door for over a year now um, in some two different colors of yarn, and these were just yarns that I got from a free cycle haul. Uh -huh. So if you don't participate with your local free cycle group, you should, especially if you're a crafter. I've got some doilies from Spiegel Mom Craft Shop. S Spiegel Mom's mm. Hello, it's a tongue twister. Spiegel Mom Scraps Etsy shop. And they were white and I used coffee to dye these. And um, I'm actually not at my home. I'm at a home where I'm pet sitting for someone and um, I just brought like my kit of supplies from my design team haul and this wreath and the yarn because I knew I wanted to work on this wreath and I was looking around and I was like well I'd really like to mist uh, these beautiful white doilies I don't have any mist what do we have here <gasps> coffee I think coffee um, dyeing went great with the colors in this wreath the muted pink and burgundy you know this is if this were browner this would be the pantone color of the year um, but i digress anyway so i'm going to use a lot of natural colors i've also pulled a few more uh, supplies from my kit i pulled this lovely wood veneer from the schmel lane uh, collection schmel's initial collection with american crafts schmel i saw from the cha videos that i watched has another collection. I'm super excited about it. Um, it's different colors. It's a lot of blues. It looks like a lot of, it looks like a more masculine color palette. Not gonna lie, but she did just have a baby boy. So, you know, her life could be, the color palette could be changing a little bit. I knew I wanted doilies and lace, but I wasn't exactly sure how I was gonna use them. So, um, I actually dyed more doilies than just these, but I had never, coffee dyed um, doilies before and I learned a few things so let me share with you if you just dunk these into the coffee and you walk away and you leave them uh, they're gonna fall apart most likely um, just because you know they are not really made to sit in liquid they are made to uh, you know, put a cupcake on them or something, or, you know, other lovely craft things. So, just be forewarned that you're not going to get the best results if you just plunk them in there and leave them for a little while. Um, you'll get great results from coffee dyeing if you are patient, um, which is really hard for me. So, I also learned that, you know, I'm somewhere without a heat gun. And so being without a heat gun means I can't just automatically speed up my drying time like I normally would. But I did learn you can stick these babies in the microwave. Um, the first time I put them in the microwave, I put them in for 15 seconds because they were mostly dry. I just wanted to get them a little darker. So I wanted to re-dip them, fighting with my adhesive, sorry. I wanted to re-dip them. So... Stuck them in there for 15 seconds. Like I said, they were mostly dry when I stuck them in there. Uh, 15 seconds was great. Nothing caught on fire. I did watch them like a hawk because um, I have been known to catch things on fire while I'm crafting. I try real hard not to when I'm... I try real hard not to all the time. I try especially hard not to catch things on fire when I'm not in my own personal residence because it's worse if you have to go... Oh yeah, I caught your microwave on fire because I was crafting. Although they do know that I come over here and do craft projects. Because I tell everyone, um, if I'm hanging out at your house for a while, I'm probably going to do some craft projects. Because I just, I have to have something going on. Okay. Um, like I said, I picked out, I pre-picked out some supplies. I've been kind of playing with it. I, I just finished getting the doilies ready. Um, once I figured out I could pop these in the microwave straight from the coffee bath if you pop them in the microwave it takes 
I think I did 30 seconds and then took them out and felt them and did um, 15 more seconds. So it might take you, oh, sorry, bumped the camera. It might take you like 45 seconds. But don't just put them in there and let them go. You really want to watch them because I know things will catch on fire in the microwave. Um, I have caught things on fire in the microwave before. Like I said, this is my first time doing that dyeing process. I'm real happy with how it turned out. I'm using, I, I have one adhesive with me. This is Fabri-Tac. It's a Beacon permanent adhesive. That's not true. I have some foam dots with me. But I didn't think they would work for this project. I do actually have the layout that I started. Um, I got a lot of washi tape in my design kit and I love washi tape. But I, um, in the past, have been a terrible hoarder of washi tape, so I thought I would take the opportunity, since I got several rolls, to try to not hoard it and to use it in all the ways that I always wanted to kind of experiment with it, but felt like I needed to hoard it. So, working on that. Oh, gosh. I absolutely adore this font and these teeny baby hearts. Can you see that? Here, let me. Let me hold it close. Look, I love that. Um, I think it's so pretty. These beautiful, these crocheted flowers, y'all, they are so soft. Um, I'm working really hard not to hoard my DT supplies. Do you do that? Do you get things that you love and then you absolutely don't want to use them because what if I use it on the wrong project? Well, let me tell you. I worked on this really hard for 2014 and I was really proud uh, how things kind of turned out. Um, the special project is the one you're working on. The project for that special flower or embellishment or all of your favorite things is what you're working on right now because you don't know when you're doing another project. You absolutely don't. I I want to use this, but I'm not sure that it goes kind of with my overall comfy cozy feel here. This teeny baby heart's gonna go down here. I love this. I love I love the wood with these colors. I love these soft colors. Oh, it feels so feminine and romantic. This is actually um, the red and the pink. It's the new color combo for my bedding. So, I'm loving this color combo right now. The reason that I chose to bring the Fabri-Tac adhesive was because I knew that I would need a good adhesive. It's kind of like cold hot glue. It's kind of the, it's the way I think about it. It pretty much sticks all your surfaces. It works great on paper. It works great on the wood veneer. It works for fabric. I thought I was going to, I thought I might make some bows for this too, but I'm really kind of loving how this is looking. I love this shiny heart, but I don't, I don't know. I'm going to use my favorite sequins. These are the Moonshine Delight, and they're 10 millimeter sequins. I love these. They're so freaking happy. Look at that. Look how happy they are. They're like bubbles. They're like beautiful sequin bubbles. I'm going to scatter them and this is kind of how I work with sequins. I like to kind of put them around and then I'll go back and adhere them. And um, you know more is kind of more. I wish I had these in another size. I'm going to be honest. I wish I had like a six millimeter and a four millimeter. Uh, I do have some six millimeter metallic gold sequins. Sorry, that was probably a quick look. Uh, they're in the shop. This is a lot of sequins, you guys. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a, a few projects to get through these. Oh yeah, okay, so I do absolutely love the scattering of the different sizes. So we're just gonna put a few golds here and there. It's almost like a country palette. I don't tend to think of myself as a country girl, but oh gosh, don't you love that tea dyed? Doily. Oh man, I'm glad I made several, so I have some more of those for some projects. I'm going to just throw something out. 
Okay, so I'm going to put those over there. Oh gosh, you guys, this project just kind of uh, is turning out exactly the way I wanted it to. Don't you love that when something you're working on kind of looks like it did in your head and you're like all these amazing pinks and beautiful sequins? Okay. So now I'm going to just dab some Fabri-Tac now the... Oh, that works great because you can't see it. I was kind of worried that I might be able to see that behind the sequin, but I can't. Oh, it's just beautiful. And you could do this in different colors. Um, I also had pulled out some of the wood veneers from Chic Tags that came in my kit. But then I felt like I would just go with the hearts and the love from Chanel. Because I'm feeling kind of Valentine's. Uh, I'm a newlywed. I got married 12, 13, 14. And uh, this is going to be my first married Valentine's Day in a while. Um, in my previous marriage, I'm, I was widowed a few years ago. In my previous marriage, we didn't do Valentine's Day. That was just a holiday that we didn't do. Um, I agreed to participate in that, so, you know, I'm not mad or bitter or anything. It's something that we agreed to shortly after we got married because we were really poor. You know, we were young and poor and came up right after Christmas. And we're just like, we're not, we're not going to do this. We love each other every day. So, that's, oh gosh, you guys, I am so loving this. The other good thing about the Fabri-Tac is because it's liquid adhesive, you have some play time. So these are the for sure's, and I actually, oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. Um, I'm going, I'm be going by my house in a, later today, and okay, so I can move that. Oh, oh, that's absolutely perfect. Okay, I have more stuff. But I'm not putting anything else on that. Um, that is my Valentine's wreath. You guys, I will take a picture. Um, oh, sorry, there's like sun glare. Let me be rude and move you out of the sun glare. Um, I will take a photo of this and have it on the blog after I get it home and get it hung. I am so tickled. I think it's beautiful. Um, I hope you like it as well. There's a little close-up of the detail. And I'm going to use the seam binding that I got in my DT kit, but I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna coffee dye that as well. So when you see the Instagram of it hanging on my door, it'll be on coffee dyed seam binding. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this morning. Um, it may not be morning now where you are, but it's morning where I am right this second. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me and, uh, go check out Spiegel Mom Scraps shop her Etsy shop I will put the link in the description box below oh. <laughs> thanks so much everyone have a great day